كل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أما بعد Indeed all praise is due to Allah We praise Him, we beseech Him, we seek His forgiveness We seek refuge with Allah from the evilness of our own souls and the evilness of our actions Whoever Allah has guided them, there's no one to mislead them And whomever He has led astray, there is no guide for them I publicly bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship except God, Allah, who is one and doesn't have equal nor partners. As I bear witness that Muhammad is, his, is his, the one who worshipped him whom we do not worship and his final messenger sent for all of mankind to the day of judgment and who, who's been sent to be followed and obeyed. Oh, you, as for what follows, for indeed the most truthful of all speech is the speech of God, Allah, and the Quran and the finest guidance for mankind is the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the most evilest of affairs are newly introduced matters into religion all newly introduced affairs and matters into religion that wasn't originally from it it is looked at as innovation and every innovation is looked at as misguidance and all misguidance ending place is the hellfire as for what follows Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us to have completed this month of Ramadan. And Allah Ta'ala wants us to celebrate on this day and to rejoice and enjoy one another and visit family members and rejoice on this day. As Allah Ta'ala says, in order for you to complete the number of months, the number of days in the, of Ramadan, and so that you can magnify and glorify Allah for that which he have guided you upon and so that perhaps you may be grateful to your creator meaning for giving you this month of Ramadan for the opportunity to seek forgiveness for the opportunity to renew your Iman for your faith for the opportunity to rejoice for the opportunity to increase in your faith to Allah because Iman your belief in Allah wears out just like clothing wear out as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِنَّ الْإِمَانِ يَخْلَقُ كَمَا يَخْلَقُ الثَّوْبِ He said, indeed, faith become worn out, just like clothing become worn out. وَجَدِّدُ إِمَانَكُمْ So renew your faith. So these seasons that Allah has legislated for us, the month of Ramadan is a season of giving yourself the opportunity to renew your iman, to fix what you've been struggling to fix since last Ramadan to fix and make yourself a better servant and worshiper of God Allah than you was before Ramadan. So therefore it's incumbent upon us to leave out of this month or leave out of that month being better believers than we were when we entered into the month as Allah has established. For that reason, it is a good reminder for all of us to understand the beginning of creation and to understand how Allah created us because in the news that the messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has informed us of in the beginning of time how our father Adam was created and understanding that makes the human being understand his own reality and will and while he was created and how did he deal with the different components that he's been created upon those things that he has inside of himself or herself that they cannot understand why these things and these feelings that we have and the various emotions that we've been created upon takes us left and right and we struggle to understand why. But the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has informed us of this unseen knowledge, informed us of how the beginning of our father was created. For we need to number one understand what is the foundation of the of the very substance of what the Adam was created upon and what the creation was created upon for indeed understanding that is understanding yourself for the for the, all of the creation of Allah Ta'ala they have one foundation in the beginning of their creation the angels the Prophet has informed us as we all know Allah created them from light and the jinn they were created from flame that was void of smoke and, uh, and mankind was created from mud from dirt and water as this is well known to all of us as Allah Ta'ala as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said 
خُلِقَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ مِنْ نُورٍ The angels were created from light. وَخُلِقَ الْجَانُّ مِنْ نَارٍ مِنْ مَارِجٍ مِنْ نَارٍ And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, خُلِقَ الْجَانُّ مِنْ مَارِجٍ مِنْ نَارٍ يَعْنِ لَهَا بِنْ صَافٍ لَا دُخَانَ فِيهِ That the jinn was created from a flame of fire that was pure fire that was smokeless. That was smokeless. وَخُلِقَ آدَمَ مِمَّا تَعْلَمُونَ And Adam was created from that which you already know, meaning from mud and dirt. And understanding this is what we're going to talk about. When we look at this creation, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He created Adam from that which وُسِفَ لَكُمْ In one narration, what has been described to you. So let's talk about Adam and his creation. Because Allah had told us, the Prophet has told us, Allah created Adam from مِنْ أَرْجَاءِ الْأَرْضِ From every part of the earth Allah took from to create our father Adam. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in authentic hadith, إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَلَقَ آدَمْ مِنْ قَبَّةٍ قَبَضَهَا مِنْ جَمِيعِ الْأَرْضِ فَجَاءَ بَنُ آدَمَ عَلَى قَدْرِ الْأَرْضِ جَاءَ مِنْهُمُ الْأَحْمَرِ وَالْأَسْوَدُ وَالْأَبْيَضُ وَبَيْنَ ذَلِكَ السَّهْلُ وَالْحُزْنُ وَالْخَبِيثُ وَالطَّيِّبُ صدق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said Indeed Allah created Adam from handfuls of dirt that he himself grabbed it from every part of the earth. The sons of Adam, they came from different portions of the earth. From it was dirt that was red. From it was dirt that was black. And from it was dirt that was white. And that which is in between that, that, and that which was in between that. Some of it was sahl, easy dirt. Some of it was huzn, dirt that's very sad, is difficult and grieving. Dirt that was khabith, that was foul. And dirt that was tayyib, that was good. Narrated by Imam Ahmed and Al-Tirmidhi and Shaykh Nasir al-Din al-Albani has authenticated this hadith and others. And Ahmed Shaqan in his explanation of Al-Tirmidhi. Understand brothers, the ulama have explained what this statement means of the Messenger of Allah. When the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was saying, Adam was created from red dirt, from black dirt, and from white dirt. This means this is the asu of the graces of human beings. Red, black, and white. And then he says, وَبَيْنَ ذَلِكَ And between that, meaning any other cultures, any other races that came from, that exist, stem from the mixture of those three races. That's the foundation. Being created from red, white, black, and white. Those are the foundations of all races. Don't believe the narrative that everyone came from the black. No, the origin is red, black, and white. And any other race was the mixture of those two, those three colors, or those three what we call races. And when the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, from the dirt was sahl, was dirt that was easy. So let's go back. When he says, وَبَيْنَ ذَلِكَ And that which is in between that. يعني مُرَكَّبٌ مِنْ تِلْكَ الْأَلْوَانِ Meaning, all the other races is formulated from that three races. And then the Prophet, then when the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, some of the dirt that Adam was created from was sahl, was easy. Meaning was gentle. Would you find some people have a gentle nature naturally? Then he said there was those that was al huzn that was grief, meaning that which is غليظ الصعب. يعني هذا al huzn هو الذي حالته وخصاله غليظ الصعب. Then you have those that was created that is rough, those who are hard and difficult. We have people with that type of natures too. Likewise, the Prophet ﷺ said, from the earth of the dirt was that which was khabith, meaning those who has khabith al khisal, those who have natural in their nature, foul characteristics within themselves. Then you have those who, he said, al tayyib, meaning tayyib al khisal, 
those that have a good nature. Every human being we find have all of these qualities and characteristics in their creation. Some people are gentle by nature. Some people are harsh and difficult by nature. Some people are foul in their creation. This is when psychologists come and try to define why the way they are. But Allah created certain people like this. And this type of information and news that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has given us, let us understand that if your nature be like this, ones that is good, it becomes easy for them to follow the guidance. Those that have in them, they could be mixed with all of these uh, individuals. Then it is the purpose of that. When the scholars explain why Allah created the human being like that, so that they can do mujahada to nafs ala ta'atillah wa bu'di an ma'asi. That Allah created the human being with these, this type of nature to have these things in them. So he has to struggle against himself by choice to do what's right and being obedient to their creator and struggle against themselves to stay away from what's wrong in obedience to the creator. For that reason, Allah made us like this because earning paradise requires a lot of patience. Earning the contentment of God the creator requires a lot of struggle within oneself. It requires a lot of self-discipline. As one of the Salaf of Salih, as one of our righteous predecessors said, Men arada, that whoever wants a yuhsina halahu ma'arabbi, who wants to have a good state of being with his creator, فَالْيَبْنِي حَائِقًا بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَ شَهْوَتِهِ Let him build a brick wall between him and his desires. Let him build a brick wall between him and his desires. For success is struggling against yourself, even with mankind, outside of the religion of Islam. The one who masters disciplining himself, fighting against his own rage, fighting against his own anger, fighting against his own impatience. He's honored and respected in that society, no matter what that society is. Because this is what Allah created us upon. So we will struggle against ourselves to earn his pleasure, to earn his contentment. As the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, the Jannah, the paradise, it is a very expensive sila'ah, commodity, that requires a lot of self-struggle to earn it. It requires a lot of self-discipline to achieve it. And this is what is incumbent upon all creation of Adam. So understand this reality. And as we move on from this, Allah Ta'ala said that He created Adam from clean, from mud. As Allah says, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ صَلَالَةٍ مِنْ قِينٍ وَالصَلَالَ هُوَ إِنْتَزَعَ قَبْدَةٍ قَبَضَحَ That the Prophet Allah Ta'ala says in Surah Al-Mu'minun, Verily we created mankind from sulala of mud. Meaning from a gripping of dirt that Allah grabbed in his own hands to create Adam. And once he created Adam from that, look at the process of his creation. He went from being mud. What is mud? It is dirt and water mixed together. It was wet. That creation. Like when you see the one who, who fashioned clay. When you go to the place where they make vase and make different products. They have to mold it with the hand. First it's wet so they can formulate it. Likewise is how God created Adam. When he's created him, he created him like this mud. And then after that, he became al-haba al As Allah Ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقَنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ صَلْصَالٍ مِنْ حَمَأٍ مَسْنُونَ Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Hijr, that indeed, I created, indeed we created mankind from Sansal, which is clay, Hama in Masnu, that is black clay that was formulated, fashioned, like you have to fashion a boss into the shape you want it to be. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Yani Adin al Aswad Rata Musawwal. Meaning, this is Hama in Masnu. Black clay that he shaped and fashioned to be what he wanted to be. And then after that was the stage of Salsal and Kal Fakhar. Then he became a Salsal Kal Fakhar. And we want to translate what that means after quoting the ayah. Allah says about that, I mean, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah says in Surah Al Rahman, 
Allah says that man that mankind was created from clay that is like pottery. Like pottery. What is this telling us? Yani Jafin Minatin Wahua Madam Yuja al Khadafin Watin ul Yahis. It is after we he formulated us and fashioned us if we were wet, Ma'adam was wet. And then he became dry like that of pottery. And he sat like that for a period of time. And then after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never khafihi ruh. Allah blew into Adam his, his soul. As Allah ta'ala has mentioned, or the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned, Lamma khalaq Allahu Adam, that when Allah created Adam, tarakahu, he left him sitting to drive. Masha'a and yada'a forever Allah willed for him to sit and drive. Faja'ala Faja'ala Ibalisu Yutifu Bihi Falamma Ra'ahu Ajwaf Arafa Anahu Khulika La Yatamad. Pay attention to this brothers. Because Wallah he is going to help us understand our enemy Satan or Shaytan. That when Allah made him, Iblis came to him while he was drying, before his soul was blown into him. And he you pleaful, he made circumambulation like we do tawaf around the Kaaba. He made circumambulation around this new creation, Satan, Iblis. And when he saw it, when he did that, he realized that this creation doesn't have the ability to, he saw that it was hollow, meaning we made of hollowness. As we go through our mouth down to our bellies, it's hollow. He saw that that creation was a hollow creation, so he realized it will struggle in controlling itself. As the Prophet ﷺ said, and the ulama said, what this mean? لا يتمالك لا يملك نفسه عند الغضب ولا يملك دفع الوسواس عنه That the Messenger of Allah ﷺ said, he does not have the ability to control himself from when he in the state of anger and he has difficulty controlling him, controlling the whisper, repelling the whispers of Satan to do what's wrong. Satan realized that about that creation. Hada wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barik ala nabiyyana Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Bismillahi wa alhamdulillah. Hamdan kathiran tayyiban mubarakan fi. كما يحب الله تعالى ويرضاه وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد That's why after all of that Allah تعالى says ثم سواه ونفخ فيه من روحه Then Allah formed Adam When he says he formed Adam He perfected يعني أحسن خلقه وعقله He perfected his creation and perfected his intelligence and then he blew into him his soul. So understanding this, brothers and sisters in Islam, we understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is how he created us. And this means that when Allah created you to worship, he may he sent you a legislation to mankind and how to control that difficult nature that is within us, how to put it in check, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had did so when he created Adam. And Adam, Shaitan, when Allah created Adam, He ordered Shaitan to bow down and the angels to bow down to Him and all of the creation. They did not want to, they all the angels bowed down to Him except for Satan. Satan refused to bow. Why? He said, خَلَقْتَهُ مِنْ تِينَ خَلَقْتَهُ مِنْ تِينَ You created him from mud, وَخَلَقْتَهُ مِنْ نَارِ And you created me from fire. So he thought, he measured his creation to the creation of Adam and saw himself to be better than Adam. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us that this type of weighing is an incorrect weighing. And this was the first stage of racism in, man, in, the, in, the, in the creation of Allah, from Satan, that we see racism to this day. This is one of the pleas and plots of shaitan, to let someone think just because of the color of their cre skin or their creation, they're better than another human being. Well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as the scholar said, Shaitan was created from smokeless fire. That fire in its nature, fire in its nature, as the scholars have explained, that fire in it is place. It has recklessness. Fire is very reckless. 
and you find in fire is khifa, carelessness, was sura and is hasty and rushes, and it ihraq and it burns. This is how the nature of the jinn that Allah created. And the nature of the human being is from mud. Mud has in its nature razana. It has in its nature poise in mud. That's, that's why we're able to formulate it and it's easy to control. We have in it hid, forbearance in the nature of the human being. Well, ana, the ability to be patient, like mud is. And likewise, the ability to grow, because from dirt is where all vegetation and fruits grow. So in no way was Satan creation better than that of Adam. But he didn't understand this and he disobeyed his creator. And this is why it's important for us to understand this reality. That Allah Ta'ala made Adam above the rest of the creation. That he created for what? Because he chose so. And what make us better than the angels and the jinn is our obedience to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. What make us better than the rest of the creation is our obedience to the Creator and staying away from the prohibitions of our Creator. For that is the success of Islam. And that is the, the very definition of ibadah, of worship. That worshiping Allah requires us mastering, doing what, understanding the wisdom behind obedience. Understanding the benefits of obedience so that we strive to be obedient to Allah. Whereas disobedience, we strive to understand his harm that is upon us when we disobey Allah and its evil effects that it can have in the life of mankind so that we can stay away from it, stay distanced from it and warn from, of the people away from it. But this is the order of how Allah created us. And if we adhere to this successfully and strive to learn this religion and have knowledge like our father Adam alayhi salatu salam, when the angels doubted, when the angels couldn't understand why Allah created a creation that will take me in charge over the earth, why he created a creation that has difficulty controlling itself. When we the angels obey you and do not disobey you, why you create a creation that can disobey you by choice? And Allah taught them, He said, وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا He taught Adam the names of everything. To show him, to show the angels he's more knowledgeable. And the angels is better. I mean the human beings is better because they, if they worship God by way of choice and way of seeking knowledge, they choose to worship their Lord. The angels have no choice. They were created to obey their Creator. They were created to be in charge over the universe. To take things because they can't disobey their Creator. But mankind, we can choose to disobey or choose to obey. Control we the choose life. to obey, the consequences is paradise and happiness in this life and the next life. We choose to disobey Allah, the consequences is destruction in this life, misery in this life, and forever punishment in the next life. But this is a simple ingredient that Allah has created us upon and is incumbent upon us to strive to learn this deed, to strive to understand our Creator. To learn the book of Allah by memorizing it, to learn by pondering over this meaning, to learn explanations from the well known books of explanation of the Quran, so that we will be successful with Allah. As the Quran is to learn that evil, and why Allah created it, and how we descend to put it in its proper place, in the way Allah has legislated, till we become what Allah has described in the Quran. كُنْتُمْ خَيْرَ أُمَّةٍ أُخْرِجَتْ لِلنَّاسِ تَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَتَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ That you are the best nation obstructed for mankind because you command with the good and you forbid the evil and you truly believe in God. هَذَا وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمْ وَبَارِكْ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَشَحْبِ أَجْمَعِينَ ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إن هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب ربنا حبب إلينا الإيمان وطلب العلم وزينه ما في قلوبنا وكره إلينا الكفر والفسوق والعسيان وجعلنا من الراشدين وجعلنا من المخبتين وجعلنا من المخلصين لك الدين يا رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Please enjoy, uh, enjoy yourself, enjoy the day of Eid, the community, everyone will have Eid, for the Shabbat Shalom, and the Shabbat Shalom, and the Shabbat Shalom, and the Shabbat Shalom.